Alright, um, well, hello to you, McFreel. I guess, uh, you had a lot of questions about PCBs and soldering and desoldering and whatnot. And, um, I mean, I don't want to assume too much, but it kind of sounds like you don't really know too much about, uh, soldering and electronics. So I thought I'd just throw together a few things to, um, better inform you about what's going on. Because I know that, you know, these videos are more just for my own, you know, screwing around and just because I feel like putting it down in a video. But, um, you know, I bust out a lot of technical terms here and there, so it might be a little hard to follow. But uh, your main question was uh, you were having a little confusion about pads and traces that I was talking about. So uh, here I just got a random printed circuit board um, from one of my classes that we're working on. But, um, Basically, uh, what you're looking at is, um, first of all, in the middle of this thing, um, it's, I mean, you can't really see it. It's its the actual inside layer is a uh, fiberglass material that's flame retardant and is non-conductive, so they just use that as the base. But kind of the important stuff is the copper on top which actually conducts electricity and you can you know get your signals from where you want them to where they need to go etc etc um, so some basic terminology going on here is um, these light green areas are actually a protective cover over a layer of copper in here and um, when I say copper trace it means anytime there's basically a wire um, like this running between points on the board and pads are these silver spots right they're actually the copper is right under here and they plate it with tin to protect the copper and to uh, you know just it's easier to solder to with the tin plating so these are you know pads and traces and these happen to be through holes just for your information um, the reason that you kinda need to be concerned with these is that they're not really attached on there really uh, in any way that's you know um, they're actually pretty weakly attached they the process of making these they just kinda glue on layers they take a big um, you know sheet of this fiberglass material and glue on a sheet of copper and then they use a etchant solution to basically cut you know dissolve away the copper in the areas that you don't want copper and you end up with the traces anyways long complicated but basically if you apply too much heat to these the glue underneath will melt evaporate whatever it'll become weak and then the pad will come off and the trace will come off and you cease to have a copper connection between two points at which time obviously no electricity you know no signals and then it becomes useless so the two main culprits are heat and physical force um, like here I have connectors soldered onto this pad not very well in this case but if I were just to you know pull on this wire right here at some point I could just rip this entire pad and probably half of this trace off the board which you don't want to do um, so you mentioned that you got some solder braid um, that's good I mean it takes a little getting used to working with it but I mean uh, you know a few trial and error attempts um, if you have any other circuit boards that you're working on that you know you wouldn't care about if you were ruined I would recommend like practicing on those because I mean it sounds like you're working on PSP or something and if you mess it up yeah you could do more damage than you know help but um, just some of the other tools uh, you said you had got a solder rifle um, I mean this is kind of a standard you know ten fifteen dollar soldering iron um, it doesn't have any temperature control on it so it just heats up as much as it can and then you know you go to it uh, you gotta be really careful with these cause you don't wanna overheat the part um, personally I have a nice you know 
digital temperature controlled. I can adjust the temperature or whatever, but um, that's like $150. So um, I hope it answers some of your questions, and if you have more, you know, I'm more than happy to help. So.